hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm bringing you in the garden this is the greenhouse and i'm going to be talking about the three things that i learned in the module on day three of the journey that we're doing um it was all about exercise so three things that i learned about exercise today i hope you enjoy this video Welcome back to my channel. It's day three of the 14 day challenge and I want to talk to you about what I learned in today's module. Today's module was all about exercise and how we should be thinking differently about it while we're losing weight. The first thing I learned in today's video was that what you weigh long term is determined by only one thing what you put in your mouth. I'm going to say it again, just like Susan does in the, in the video. What you weigh long term has nothing to do, has it, wait, what you weigh long term is determined by one thing, what you put in your mouth. It has nothing to do with the exercise. She talked about the studies that have been done on exercise and how they have nothing to do with rate of weight loss, or uh, weight loss in general. In fact, people who don't exercise are more likely to lose weight faster, which is, it's kind of crazy, but it's true. So that is really comforting. <laughs> I'm, go I'm going into the greenhouse real quick. It's really hot in here. It is really hot in here. I'm trying to cool it down. Too heavy to hold. I'm gonna have to set it down, I think. I got a lot of these, but see yeah. all right so the second thing i learned on today's module is that automaticity is the main priority especially of these 14 days they're watering some plants back there uh, what does automaticity means automaticity means that your habits are automatic that, ev that everything is automatically done now so when you wake up you have your six ounces of fruit you have your four ounces of grain, you have your protein, it's automatic, it's all good. That is our priority as we are in this weight loss phase. Um, just one priority, automaticity. And the third thing I learned in today's module is that we have the permission to wear bunny slippers. Bunny slippers means that you can, um, you can actually physically buy yourself slippers if you want to, but it's the permission to walk gently and be gentle with yourself during this journey. It's so important to stay in tune with yourself. If you're tired, rest. If you're exhausted, rest. Don't go out there trying to build muscles right now. It's time to lose weight, not build muscle. Right, mom? Yeah. It's time to lose weight, not build muscle. I don't want to be I don't want to be a muscle head right now. I just want to get down to my best weight so that I can um you, help me? you know, be healthy. Uh, health is number one. So maybe when I get down to my goal weight, I will start implementing like some more muscle building activity. But right now I'm happy um, just focusing on weight loss. Every time that I try to get my activity really high and I push myself like in the gym or something, I it, it backfires. I don't feel well. Um, I tried to do like a challenge that people are doing on Instagram right now. It's a 90 day, um, fitness challenge and I'm just not, I'm, I'm losing my weight right now and I can't fit in all that exercise. It doesn't work well for me. It exhausted me completely. So that is where I'm at right now. I'm, I'm so happy that bright line eating is like this and I don't have to worry about exercising right now. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy seeing my journey, please consider subscribing and I'll see you tomorrow on the next video. I want to talk about the root of my food addiction because I believe it's extremely powerful to know why you are addicted at the base of your being. So I am a Christian. I believe in the Bible through and through. I love Jesus. And 
he is um, my number one. But I haven't always treated him that way because the Bible talks about a refuge and a stronghold and that God wants to be our stronghold, right? A stronghold is a place that you go to in times of trouble. It's a place that you go to every time you're struggling. It is your tower, your strong tower. But we can... I didn't know the science behind it, but for 33 years, I rushed to those dopamine hits as my first line of comfort when I was in distress, okay? I had a bad day. I had, um, I was exhausted. I was emotionally drained. I was in physical pain. Here comes the candy. Here comes the pizza. Here comes the croissant. Here comes the lattes, okay? So God was absolutely not my first line of comfort and he wanted to be you know there's a ten commandments there's the ten commandments and they're really good but one of them says have no idols before me and was flour and sugar an idol absolutely and that is the root of my addiction the root was a dependence on the drug and not on the lord okay so i know the root of my addiction and i'm challenging you today do you know the root of your addiction what is the root problem?